Hey guys, what's up? This is Amir and you're watching Electrical Infinity. In this video, I'm gonna explain you about fuel system control panel working and its circuit diagram. This control panel is designed to monitor and control fuel transfer for emergency power applications. This panel receives inputs from various tank level sensors and thus operates the output devices such as solenoid valve and a fuel supply pumps. Additionally, this panel also has auto and manual mode switch. In hand mode, we can activate pump or valve manually via push button, whereas in auto mode, the valve is activated depending on the values provided by the input sensors. In this project, we have used three fuel tanks for emergency power generation. Firstly, I'm gonna explain you the power circuit of this panel and later on I will be explaining the control circuit of this panel too. So in this power circuit we have an incoming supply 230 volts 1 phase 50 hertz and we are using an emergency switch 40 ampere double pole emergency switch which is of Schneider company. So as you can see this is the emergency switch which we are using for turning on and off of the complete panel. So this is the emergency switch as you can see on and off button we have here it has three terminals we are using two terminals one for phase and one for neutral this phase terminal is connected to another fuse which is of schneider 6 ampere and is connected to phase indicator for indicating a phase then this phase indicator second terminal is connected to neutral as you can see this is a fuse of schneider which we are using this is the 6 ampere fuse single pole and again from this emergency switch we are again connecting this to one more fuse of 6 ampere and from this fuse we are connecting it to voltage transformer which is a step down transformer control transformer from 240 volts ac primary voltage to 24 volts ac secondary voltage this is a step down voltage transformer and it's it is rated at 100 volt ampere so as you can see from this fuse again we are connecting it to 240 volt terminal of this voltage transformer then again from this transformer we are connecting the 24 volts ac phase terminal to the fuse 6 ampere fuse so you can see from this voltage transformer one is 230 volts terminal another is 0 volts and this is 24 volts terminal another is 0 which means a neutral so from this 24 volts terminal we are again connecting it to a 6 ampere fuse uh, so i will show you the overall diagram again so from phase and neutral we are connecting it to indicator and here we can see you can see i'm looping the phase from the fuse and then the taking the phase out from the second fuse and connecting it to voltage transformer then the output from this voltage transformer is again connected to the selector switch and control indicators this goes to the control circuit from the third fuse so this is how the power circuit of this one works and this is the selector switch 3434 terminals it has one of the terminal goes to the SVA relay which is auto relay for solenoid valve and there is SVH relay for hand operations of solenoid valve so this is the selector switch it has auto mode and a manual mode some of some of the panels don't have this option they have just auto mode but in this panel we have auto as well as a manual mode Therefore, from 24 volts AC, we are connecting to fuse and from fuse to selector switch. This S1 is a selector switch and we are connecting it to two relays SVH and SVA. This is a relay by Schneider SVH solenoid valve hand mode and whereas SVA means solenoid valve auto mode for manual and auto operations of this panel so this is the indicator for control circuit uh, it shows the control circuit is working or not so as you can see this is the fuse from fuse we are connecting it to a selector switch and then from selector switch we are connecting it to a1 of both the contactors Again from this 6 ampere fuse we are connecting it to push button and from this push button we are connecting it to A1 of 5 LTR relays. These relays are used for control circuit operation for pump operations and this is the miniature plug-in relay we are using. This is a 6 ampere 4 control 240 volts AC miniature plug-in relay by Schneider and this is the socket of this and it has outputs on the top and it has inputs below this is the relay supply a1 and a2 and it has inputs at the bottom of it as you can see so this is the uh, relay and this is plug in this socket these are the ltr relays we have used and these are the r1 r2 r9 relays for 
uh, auto operations of this panel and we also have fr relay for fire operations and also we have svr1 svr2 and svr3 relay so there are lots of relays in this panel because of auto operations so this is the auto control circuit of this panel and i will explain you in detail this one when the fuel tank level is low uh, we get a value from it uh, from the sensors and the no of the sva terminal become nc as well as the r3 relay too so uh, the, this becomes nc and this is the fuse which we are using this, uh, this is a low level fuse and later on this uh, is uh, connected to r1 relay which uh, leads in a turning on of the solenoid valve and the fuel will be pumped to the fuel tank tank one the second branch is used for high level fuel indication and for turning off of pump so whenever the fuel tank level reaches high level this relay operates and this turn off the solenoid valve also an alarm is raised when the tank level reaches a high level similarly when the tank level reaches high high level the solenoid valve is shut down and dump valve is open and the extra fuel in this tank is dumped to the dump tank Similarly, for we are using the same branches for tank 2 and tank 3. As you can see here, this one is for tank 1, tank 2 and tank 3. Therefore, we have used 9 relays for this setup, for auto setup. And also we have here is a fire setup too. In this, uh, we will be getting a value from the sensors whenever there is a fire and this leads to turning on of FR fire relays and when the fire relays turns on, the plant is completely shut down after dumping the fuel in the tanks to the dump tank. This is the control circuit diagram for indicators. We are using three indicators for each tank. So for three tanks, we are using nine indicators low level high level and a high high level we also have a low low level indicator in this panel too also we have indicator for dump valve solenoid valves this is the control circuit for pump operations on the right side we have hand control and on the left side we have the manual control here you can see this is the pump one and pump two so whenever the switch is s1 is turned to the hand mode it passes the supply to the these terminals r1 relay and this no becomes nc and whenever we press the push buttons the supply is passes through the k1 and the pump is turned on with the help of this this is the control circuit for solenoid valve control. So this solenoid valve and NO becomes NC. And with the help of this push button one, we can turn this panel off. And whereas with the help of push button two, we can turn it on. This is the on push button. So whenever we press the on push button PP2, this SVR1 relay gets NC and supply passes through the SVR relay a1 terminal and this svr relay turns on which leads to the turning on of solenoid valve one so th on the left side we have indication for solenoid valve off and on the right side we have indication for solenoid valve on similarly we have setups two setups for solenoid valve one and solenoid valve three at last in this panel we have two terminal block one terminal block is from the field and other terminal block is to bms so from field we get the values from the various tank sensors in this panel and with the help of these values the panel operates depending on the tank level the second terminal block is a bms and with the help of these the status of the pumps is sent to bms with this i have finished my explanation of this panel completely hope you have liked this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel electrical infinity to appreciate my hard work thanks for watching take care